episode of Alpine Garage. Today we're going to talk about one of the two series that we are starting called Bronco, Bronco Daily. Daily. So we have decided that we are in the garage every single day, um, probably for at least an hour a day. Uh, a lot of the times it's late at night after the kids go to bed, uh, but we don't film any of that. We don't talk about it. With three Broncos, Bronco A, Bronco B, and Bronco C over here a, in the driveway. I guess Bronco A. Is Bronco A the 21? A. A. B. No, C. I don't know. I don't know. I think that might be A. Anyway, we have three Broncos. Uh, we are building or restoring all of them at the same time now. In the past, we have had let life get in the way. And we have taken two months to figure out a schedule to where we can live our life normally but still be able to produce videos uh, for the Bronco community and we think that they're going to be the same quality if not better than they were before. They're going to have better information if not more than they were before and you're going to see basically, I'm not going to call it a vlog because I don't know that we would be vloggers, but we do want you to see the transformation of our rides and our lives as we go through this. And with it being a new year and us having a new channel, uh, Alpine Garage, by yes. the way, <laughs> uh, we changed Mile Point 3 Garage to Alpine Garage. And uh, so it'll be a kind of a breath of fresh air for us and we're gonna give this a shot. We don't know if it's gonna be exactly daily, but it's going to be mostly daily. Yeah. And we would love your feedback as we go along the way, just to let us know we are going in the right direction or maybe if you wanna see some changes, uh, but we would love to have you along Bronco Daily is going to encompass a lot of things. It's going to encompass the building of the 21 Bronco. Uh, we found the limitations for us on that Bronco and so now we are going to modify it even though we didn't want to. We bought a brand new vehicle to hope we wouldn't have to modify it. But you'll see in the next episode why we need to modify it for what we do. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start modifying that. Uh, we are going to finish the Stormtrooper which we started uh, three years ago and we are going to <laughs> start Fine. <laughs> yeah we're gonna start on mandy's uh which is the bronco to be named later and uh get it up and running uh as well new this one has a new engine we're building the new engine for the stormtrooper right now then on top of that we're also going to be doing we have a bunch of new products that we're going to be doing reviews on we also have uh, fabrications that we have done ourselves that's right we we one of the one of our loves is breaking up the welder uh, breaking out all of our tools and building something that either hasn't been built yet or in a way that we would like to see it. And we've already started that process, but we weren't going to document it. Um, but you know what? In fact, I gave Mandy, uh, I fabricated something for Mandy for Christmas and we didn't show anybody. Not yet. Uh, but we're, why not? We're going to throw it out there and let you guys see it. I did film it just in case, but I had no expectation of actually releasing it. It's awesome. Um, so, well, we, we think it's awesome. <laughs> so we like to play around and fabricate. Uh, Mandy uh, is learning to weld. I am not an excellent welder, but, but I love to fabricate. We're also going to start live streaming. Some of them may be like invite somebody on for live streaming. Some of them may be inviting somebody into our garage for live streaming. And some of them may just be live streaming while we're, working, <laughs> like, while we're working in the garage. Um, just to kind of let you come in. We're going to crack open some beers for you. And then we'll just banter back and forth as we're pulling something apart or destroying something and putting something back together again. At some point, there's going to be a build-off. Actually, <laughs> there's going to be a build-off uh, between Mandy and I to spur productivity on getting these done. So obviously, everybody's <laughs> probably going to root for Mandy to get hers done uh, because it is going to be a really cool teal-ish light blue Bronco, possibly. Whereas we already know the color of mine. Or maybe you can help me pick out the colors. Yeah, or maybe. I'm up to that too. Yeah, she changed her mind on her color like 50 <laughs> like... times. So this should be pretty easy uh, for her to be swayed in some direction. Or... We're going to have a lot of wheeling adventures in the 21 Bronco, which is going to be the next series that we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about it today because there's too much going on right now. It's so exciting. But that's going to be a big, huge part of this channel is showing you guys around a little bit around our great state. Let's go check out our 21 Bronco and talk about it real quick. <laughs> Sorry. And then we have the 21 Bronco. It is a first edition and we have done a few small things to it, but we took it out on a wheeling trip, which you'll see tomorrow. And really, uh, we really <laughs> wow. need more clearance on this. 
we really need to make some modifications to it in order to make it work the way that we want it to. It's just, it's just not quite there yet. Um, very capable rig. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the Bronco, uh, but we want to push this thing to its absolute limit. And we found it with the tires and wheels and suspension that it has now. Uh, and then also we uh, can't take it anywhere in the mountains with gear because we don't have a rack. So there's going to be a lot of things coming on that. This is going to be part of our Bronco Daily Series is getting this thing to where we need to have it. Starting off with tomorrow, which is probably our most epic wheeling adventure yet, in which we did some pretty good damage to the bottom of the Bronco and uh, has spurred on some of this thought. Here's where we need your help. We need you to hold us accountable. So. We're going to be trying to do this daily or daily-ish, and we're going to be bringing you what we think is going to be good content. But if at any point you feel like we're going in the wrong direction, or if we fall off of this, poke us. Poke us just a little bit. You can, you can contact us in a, in a bunch of different ways. But we want to hear from you guys. And, uh, it, the encouragement is what we need. We need to be encouraged. There's so many distractions in life. Most of them are positive, but some of them are drawing us in a direction that uh, isn't productive. So we want to stay productive on these things and you can help us. And that's a wrap from Alpine Garage. We want you to hang out with us daily. So we're going to do this daily and check out the end screen for all of the old content that we have that I think is still relevant because it got the Broncos to where they are now.